Hello everyone and welcome. It is time. I'm very excited. Like a Dragon is a great series. Starting off being called Yakuza and of course over the years evolving and changing. Now it is a franchise that has spanned multiple genres. Now turning into classic turn-based JRPGs which I love. Yakuza Like a Dragon also known as Yakuza 7. It was my game of the year many years ago. And now we have the opportunity to have a game that not only will be the true passing of the torch from the old guard to the new with Ichiban now becoming the new main character of the series, but finally this will be the last hurrah, the swan song for Cosmic Hiryu. So I'm very excited to see where they go. But what I'm really more excited for <clears throat> is that we're finally going on vacation, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to Hawaii. You know, it's been many, many years since in real life I've had any kind of a vacation or trip. So it'll be very exciting to finally be able to go on a nice, relaxing trip to the Hawaiian uh, uh, state. Hawaii here in the United States. Very exciting. Uh, obviously, we want English. Now, here's the catch. When I play the Like a Dragon series, I love the Japanese voice acting. I just played Like a Dragon Gaiden in Japanese, and I loved it. I've literally never heard a English voice actor for Cosmic Hiryu. But <clears throat> when I played uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon several years ago, I used the English voice acting and I loved it. And I kind of want to hear those voice actors reprise their roles here in this one. So I think we are going to go with English. Although I'm really strongly leaning towards Chinese. What do you guys think? <clears throat> No, we're going to do it. We're going to go to English. And uh, I know some people have an issue with that. Apparently some people don't like the voice actor for Cosmic Curio in English. I've never heard it. I'll tell you my honest opinions and thoughts when I hear it. So there you go. <clears throat> Here we go. The volume seems a little low now. I have to see it. It sounds like the volume's a little low on this. We'll find out. I love that they have this cool intro now for all their awesome games. Such a good intro. Doesn't that just mean like a dragon? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the volume sounds low, doesn't it? I'm going to open up my headphones a little bit. You guys let me know how the volume sounds for you, okay, here on stream. Sound good? Am I going to bring Jasper to Hawaii? Maybe. Maybe he wants to walk on, uh... Maybe he wants to walk on the beach. So, first thing we should do is we should go to make sure the subtitles are on for those who love subtitles. Um, let's see here. Subtitles are on, and I want it to be large. And I do want to have speaker names. And I'll have speaker names be yellow. And we'll turn on subtitle backgrounds as light. I just want to make the subtitles nicely visible for everybody. Oh, uh, I just like some text and conversation windows. Let's also do large there, too. Let's do extreme blood. I want you to punch someone like their balls pop out of their their uh, their ball sacks and roll on the floor. All right, they're not going to let me do that. All right. All right, there you go. So hopefully that works. Everything else should be... Yeah, we don't have HDR set up, sadly. Yeah, okay. Audio. Blazingly loud. Surround. I want surround, goddammit. You better give me surround. Okay, nice. Okay, are we good? Multiplayer mini games. Play a local opponent in Virtual Fighter 3 or the multiplayer mode in Spike Out. So that's interesting, but we're not going to do that yet. Let's do this. And uh, adjusting the two images are easy. I can see... All right, I guess I can barely see each, right? How about you guys? You can barely see each? Looks about right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Off of save it is. The game is a work of fiction. No persons, groups, incidents, or terms appearing in the work are intended to represent any... I couldn't even finish it. So do not take offense if you're Hawaiian. These are just parodies, not real stuff, all right? All right, here we go. However, if you're Japanese, you should be greatly offended. <clears throat> what an old-time car. Look at this. Classic restored. Unless it's supposed to be the past. 
There are dogs on the loose around here. We're out here awfully late. There are dogs on the loose? True, but I'd say the meeting was worth it. With all the homeless around these days, there's no shortage of mouths to feed. And tonight marks a big step forward in solving that. Well, good. I suppose you're right. But, dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. He's right there in the road! Don't hit him! Don't hit Bryce! Why is Bryce always in the middle of the road, goddammit? Someone's out there. Damn! Why kill the driver? No! I guess they don't want any witnesses. Damn, that's br What the- Gee, you think he shot enough? <laughs> I guess he wanted to be sure. Damn. And this oh, is how finish. Hawaiian Batman was made. Wait, what? So they wanted a necklace. Time for your reward. Now you die! <laughs> And now someone walks up behind him and kills Umbrella Man. And then someone kills the cameraman. No one, no witnesses. And then someone comes into our homes and kills us as we walk, <laughs> as we try to play. Hitman come into the office. No, don't kill me. No. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. It's a cellular wall, photosynthesis. See, I knew it, that's a bug, I called it. Plants look like up close. Oh, they're trying to show off the modern graphics. They're like, look at this. Look how detailed this can be. Greetings to DC. He's here with a haiku for the premiere of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. He says, a day at the beach, the cooling waters, waves crash, mysteries risen. Thank you so much, DC. Usagi Jojo says, what was the point of having the hitman when he was on the crime scene himself? Because he wanted to kill. But he wanted... I don't know. I'm gonna write the game. Why is there a keyboard on the beach? Can you explain that? Or is this not on the... Hey, oh, it's not on the beach. Just how long is this gonna take? <laughs> Hello, work. Back in 2022. Oh, I'll be done any second. Just need to give this a once-over. What did it, it say? I don't know what it said because you can't read Your that. Resume's in good hands, Sasaki -san. <clears throat> Look who it is. My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and finding you work is my work. Now, let's get you something good. <laughs> Ichiban Kasuga, hello work contractor. Yeah, let's. Big celebrity ought to have big connections. I wouldn't say that. I really no big deal. Celebrity? He became a celebrity after the first game? Uh, so, what kind of work you got for me, Kasuga-san? Well, before that, Sasaki-san. It says here, you work for Moroi Industries. Yeah, that's what it says on the paper. To my knowledge, Moroi Industries is a front company that processes waste for a syndicate called the Hiwatashi Clan. <laughs> All their employees are Yakuza. Hey, you know your stuff. It also says here that you were let go from your position he was, he was laid off from the yakuza if i'm not mistaken this is because the business shut down after the hiwatashi clan disbanded last ah month? so all the is different clans are disbanding <sighs> yeah all of them. what about it and taking into account that you worked at maroi industries and the fact that you have quite an intricate tattoo can i assume that you're an ex yakuza who just recently got out of the trade you're telling me that matters? You'll need to indicate that on your resume. I'm gonna up my Listen, game volume. buddy. What I did or didn't do before coming here is my own business. At the very least, it's information your employer deserves to know. <sighs> Come on. How about you drop the silly little act already, eh, Kasuga-san? You think I haven't heard the rumors? <clears throat> rumors? About what? About you finding good work for ex Yakuza like me. Ah. Those rumors. People from all over have been calling you a savior. Afraid I don't know what you mean. I'm just a regular guy at a regular job. Thank you, Javier, for becoming a member I today. I appreciate I told that. You to cut the crap. I don't have time for games here. All right then. Let's start by rewriting your resume. 
Do you have any special qualifications you can list? Uh, they'll help you cast a wider net when- what I say? Knock that humble servant shit off! <laughs> If I can ask you to please keep your voice down, loud noises might be disturbing to the other customers. <laughs> Sasaki-san, our job is to find the ideal match for both our customers and our business partners. However, with your behavior today, I doubt you'll be getting a job anytime soon. You may have left the Yakuza, but it hasn't left you. <laughs> I have no jobs to offer you at this time. I'll have to ask you to leave. You bastard! <laughs> you got more to say. Damn it! Some help you turned out to be. Waste of my goddamn time! <laughs> he walks. He walks. Mm, mm, mm. Apologies for the disturbance, everyone. We should be okay now. Next customer, please come to counter four. Go. Oh, uh, thanks. You dealt with that nicely. <clears throat> okay. Nice work today, Kasuga-san. Uh, you okay after all that? Oh, yeah. It was no sweat. Didn't mean to make a scene. Sorry about that. Oh, not at all. I just feel bad you have to put up with all that. Uh, sorry to place it on you. Oh, it's all good. Really, I'm just happy I can make myself useful. It's the least I can do. Especially after you guys bothered to take me in. Wow. You really are the hero of Yokohama. Yeah. We're glad to have you around. Gamma, you don't have to call me that. Why not? You exposed the crimes of both the governor and the police department. You're a man of the people. Yep, that was the first game. No, it's really too much. Besides, that was a while ago. Well, we're proud just to share a workplace with you. You ought to be proud of yourself too, Kasuka-san. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate the kind words. Anyway, I'm heading out for the day. I'll see you later, yeah? So, this is taking place, they said 2022? But is this in the past? Is it going to catch up to present day? I wonder. Hmm. <clears throat> the original game took place, what, 2000? Or, oh my god, 2020? So, I guess really it's hard to tell where we are in the timeline right now, right? I should get some grub before I head home. Oh, a gameplay? What? Gameplay already? I thought there'd be like at least two hours of cutscenes. All right, we're gonna do some gameplay. Either I go for a sit-down place or play it safe and get a beef bowl. Kind of out of the way, but I could check out the restaurant on Central Street, then go for a beef bowl if I'm not feeling it. Our first gameplay of Yakuza Like a Dragon. Oops, it's actually called Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, right? So now, yeah, they're saying that Oh, Don Do Don Do Co Don the Coco. Don the Coco Island. So basically I got the better version of the game, everybody. So I'm gonna have a lot of stuff unlocked that's bonus content. See? You got new Sujimon and that. See this? Don Do Don Doko? Wait. Don Doko? I thought it said just Don the Coco. Now it says Don Doko. Is it Don Doko or Don the Coco? Which <laughs> which is it? Now I'm confused. This time around, we're playing this on the Xbox Series X, everybody. So, if you followed my uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon playthrough many years ago, this should probably look much better, honestly. Probably better frame rate, better visuals. And I do believe the game starts off here, yes, in Japan. But everyone knows that this game is eventually going to go to, uh, to Hawaii, right? Now, what's crazy here is I can't grab that briefcase... There's a briefcase right there, and they won't let me grab it. It's literally sitting on their staircase, and I can't touch it. So, they're not letting me go that way. Alright, I guess we gotta go this way. I just find funny that find it funny that um, he's the hero of, of their town, right? He saved the town 
from the corruption of the governor and the police department. And here he is working at the employment agency. That's his big reward. To have a, a, a nice trivial 9 to 5 job. Here we go. A tuna onigiri. 50 HP restoration item. Yummy. I love I love finding sandwiches randomly in briefcases as set along my local street. And I always eat those sandwiches immediately. Because they're extra fresh. What's going on, Rito Mastermind? He says, I love your Yakuza playthroughs. I'll catch up with Gaiden first before I watch this one. Have fun. Love you. Sounds good. Gaiden was great. Gaiden was a great filler. Uh, to bridge the gaps between the past of Cosmic Kiryu and what happened between the last Yakuza game and this one. So, should be good. Well, what, what do they want me to do? You talk to this guy? They don't want to do this vending machine, do they? Lucky Soda? Who's this? Let's find out. Something I can help you with, Sasaki-san? Uh-oh. Look who it Sonia? is. <laughs> Should have guessed. Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about before. I wasn't exactly reading the room. Huh? It's about money, right? I thought as much. You might be a savior. Saving people ain't free. Uh, uh, 50 grand ought to do it, right? <laughs> I hit it big at the boat races today. <laughs> Trying to bribe him. Bribe him into a job. 50k a job, though. <clears throat> Damn good racket you've got there. Can't say I ain't jealous. You've got the wrong idea here. I'm not in this for myself. Huh? Hey, hold up. What's your deal? Uh, what, you want more or something? How much I gotta give you to get a job? The, the five-year ex-Yakuza clause. That's what's left you high and dry, right? Five years of red taped hell follow a Yakuza on his way out. You can't open a bank account or even rent some rat hole apartment. A cell phone plan's basically a no go. You can forget about health insurance. Damn, imagine that. Imagine because you were wrapped up in organized crime, you literally couldn't do any of the things a normal person does. Like, how are you even gonna get by, right? Of course, it's made that much worse by the fact that no one wants to hire someone like that. Yeah. You clearly get it. So help a guy. All the people who were thrown out into the world after the Omi and Tojo dissolved are working their asses off just to get by. <clears throat> huh. You think you can just slip a guy some cash and that's that? Get real, pal. Things don't work that way. Look, I didn't follow you out here for a lecture. <laughs> just take the stupid money, will you? <laughs> hey, cut it out. My money! Oh, what the hell, man? Uh, rest now. Just take your money and go. Uh, yeah. Quit acting all high and mighty. When it comes down to it, you're just like me. Oh boy. The shit ain't bad. <clears throat> Let's do it. So, our first fight of the game. And we're going to see how they've changed combat because apparently they did change it since the last one. Use the command menu in the bottom left corner of the screen to choose your action. Select attack to perform a basic attack. There's no choice. So Let's here we go. go. All right, good. Right now, my camera's not blocking anything, but I'm curious where to put the camera in this playthrough because we don't know yet. <clears throat> all right, so all you can do is... Oh, look. Yeah, see, you can move. You couldn't do this in the last one. So now you can move all around. By the way, the lighting is great. Look at the lighting. Wow. The lighting is super good. They've definitely improved that since the last one. All right, attack. Nice combo. Ooh, he restored some health. Quickly select an attack before a down enemy gets up and strike for heavier damage. Again, a follow up. Oh, elbow drop. We're kind of wide open. Select skills to unleash a powerful ability in exchange for MP or mental points. Uh, your current MP is displayed in the green gauge at the bottom right. Recover MP with basic attacks. Oh, that's what it was. You're getting your MP back. Damn, so it's actually just like Sea of Stars that I j I'm currently playing. It it's very similar in that you get your MP back by attacking. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, skills will activate action prompts. And then if you press button and put it increases damage output. Hey, Alright, so let's skill. do skills. About that? Tenacious Fist. All I have is Tenacious Fist. Open Break X, mash it. Ugh. Press B at the moment you're attacked to perform a perfect guard. Damn, this really is like, it's like Super Mario RPG and Sea of Stars recently. It's got the exact same gameplay elements. Timed button pushes. There you go. The red gauge at the bottom right will display your HP or L health points. If the party leader HP hits zero, game over. 
So your leader cannot die. You, or you should not die or else you lose. You can recover health with items. Grab a snack. Yummy. Eat that Kuna Onigiri. Yummy. Cool. Uppercut. Proximity bonus. Looks pretty good. I don't think whole party is going to be great, I bet. So we got... So actually, as an employment agency worker is a job in this, I guess, because we got some job experience. We got zero cash, but we got a salmon only as a reward. Stronger. Level up. Look at this already. HP up, MP up, attack, defense, magic, magic, willpower, and agility. There you go. Digga, 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 digga. It'll be, it's still turn-based, but it has a movement element now. That's really the difference. It's turn-based, but with movement to try to get, like, around or behind enemies. It's kind of neat that they added that. And I do like the act. What the hell just happened? Huh? Huh? Ew! Oh, here. Good luck washing out this Shoot. A pillar? super polluted river. Ew. Uh -huh. Gotcha. What the hell's he doing? <laughs> oh no! Ew! <laughs> oh, take a look. Your money's safe. Yo, he's got like a condom on his head. Oh, oh no! Oh, I think this suit might be a gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Probably don't want to lose this, right? Hey, were the rumors even true? A bunch of dudes told me you could hook me up, that you'd give me a job for fifty grand. Who are these assholes? Well, it's partly true. I am helping those who left the yakuza find work. And as for that fifty grand. I did get that from someone about a year ago. Wait, then that means... But it wasn't for the job. I got a phone plan set up for him. He was just paying me back. A phone plan? I got him a job at a pharmaceuticals manufacturer. They were looking for someone to help deal with resellers. Hmm. Masks, cold medicine, antiseptic. Back when people were hoarding those, they left a lot of others hurting. Oh, he's referencing COVID. That's cool. I just realized he's referencing something that happened in real life because the, the last game came out before COVID, right? Or was designed to take place in a, in a timeline before COVID. By the way, guys, how does the audio sound? Is it good? I just want to make sure that all the uh, the audio levels are good for everybody before we continue because I did have to adjust. It did sound a little bit on the lower side, so I upped the game volume. How does it sound? Is it well adjusted? Jade is loving it. I'm glad you're loving it. You think it's good? People are saying they think the audio is good? Okay, so the increase helped. The increase of volume helped. Okay, cool. Whenever crooks like that try to cash in online, it's his job to put in fake bids <clears throat> and shut it all down. There are really jobs like that out there? It's kind of a gray area thing. Still, resellers are a huge thorn in those company sides. That's where the fake bids come in. Sort of <clears throat> tricky if you don't have a phone handy, you know? And as you're aware, ex-Yakuza aren't allowed to sign up. So you signed up for him? Yeah. Just to hold him over until he can find a better job. For the record, I'm being told the voice actor for Kasuga, I think it's the same guy who did it in the last game, uh, Kaji Tang. He's in a lot of anime, so if you think his voice is familiar, you've probably heard him in anime before. <sighs> Everyone's gritting their teeth to get through this thing. I got no work to give to someone who waltzes up all cocky and shoves cash in my face. <sighs> it's tough, jumping back on the straight and narrow. I know. I went through all that life has to offer, just like you. I know how hard that shit is. But, if you're prepared to try, to put your head down and crawl your way back up, if you really, truly want that... Awesome music. I'm right there with you. <laughs> what do you say? You know, when you were down there gathering up all my money just now, I was sure you were going to steal it. But you didn't. 
I, uh, uh, well, for the first time in my life, I actually felt pretty, uh, pretty ashamed. It made me realize that I half-assed just about everything I am. <laughs> please, please help me. I, I want to start over. I'll do whatever it takes. Okay, it's a deal. But do me a favor and stand up, all right? You're gonna be the one to do it, Sasaki-san. You're gonna put in the work. All I can do is give you a little push. Still, I'll do the best I can. Oh, thank you! Right then. Come on back to Hello Work tomorrow. <clears throat> hmm. All right. This here's your stipend. As to how you use it, well, it all depends on you. Stipend? It's his own money. <laughs> right! So this is interesting. This was 2022. So how's this going to get okay. us to present day in Hawaii? Time to eat. It's good to see this little, like, interim what happened to Kasuga since the last game. I like that getting caught up. And I like that they referenced COVID. That was interesting. <clears throat> Here we go. Yep, there's his Kaiji Tang. And how do you pronounce it? Yong Ya or whatever? He's supposed to be Kazuga's uh, voice actor. Dun, 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 dun. Beef Bowl Challenge! Dun, dun, ba, dun, 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 dun. Yeah! Fast and music. Yeah, swaggy, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're cheering for, but okay. <laughs> hey, there's all the locations from the first game. I wonder how long you'll stay in Japan before you go to Hawaii. Danny Trejo's in it. Yeah, he's a major character in it. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Daniel Day Kim's in it, too. Yeah. A lot of good voice actors in this. There's a very similar intro to this in Legend Dragon Gaiden recently. But that was for Kazuma Kiryu's side, so kind of kind of neat. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so good. All right. We're in for a good ride, I feel. A probably really long one. Everyone's saying this is the longest Yakuza game ever made. And they are all pretty long. Okay. Another day, another chance to make a difference. Chapter 1. Doing the best I can. <clears throat> Nice, looking sharp. Here's hoping Sasaki actually shows up today. Guess there's only one way to find out. Time to head to work. So, what happened to the whole group from the first game? What did it, what are their fates, right? What did they end up doing? I gotta pay my respects first. I'm taking off now, boss, young master. Can't believe it's already been three years since they both passed. That's right. It's the end of the uh, the first game. If you want to go check it out, it's kind of a spoiler if you haven't played it though. Tojo and Omi bringing up at the same time. They call it the Great Dissolution nowadays. Crazy they went out during the peak of all that. You know, lately I've been so busy with what's in front of me. Might be good to reflect on how I got here. Uh, do we really want to do? I think we know the plot of the first game. <clears throat> I think we're okay with not reliving it. But that's cool if you didn't play the first game and you want to get caught up on the plot. There's probably an extended cutscene here of that, but I think that we're going to skip it because I, I remember the first game, so... Actually, I got to head out soon. Okay, another day in the life coming up. You could have always watched my playthrough of Yakuza Like a Dragon right here on DSP Gaming if you actually want to see what happened with that. King B. Cruel says, 
Not sure if you remember. This house is where the baseball protagonist from Yakuza 5 lives in. The baseball protagonist? You mean that was the game that there was multiple characters? I thought that was Yakuza 4. Do you mean 4? So you can recover in bed. What a mess. <laughs> He's got to clean this place up, man. And there's also... Wait a minute. Why are there women's dresses over there? Uh, is this not really his place? No, it's not. Look, these are women's clothing. So maybe this isn't his place? So who lives here? And who's letting him stay? Or else... Well, maybe that, maybe it is his place. I mean, it is, it is 2024, right? I mean... I don't know. <clears throat> it, I didn't get that vibe for the first game, but who knows? Maybe a lot changed in a few years. What do we got over here? Is this your item box for pre-ordering? You'll find an item box at your hi hideout, hangouts, and throughout various I uh, dungeons of the game. Accessing them lets you store or take equipment. Oh! So we have a salmon onigiri and a tuna onigiri. Premium first aid kit. What are they? Select items to send to the item box. Oh, look at that. We have bonus items. Yeah, look. Oh, God. Look. So these are all... Oh! <clears throat> Master Vacation Pack. So I got the higher end of the game. All right. The more expensive version. You get a lot of bonus items. See this? They say right on them. Obtained from the Master Vacation Pack. These are from the Hero Booster Pack. Well, I really don't want to use these. I feel like if I use these, it's kind of cheap. Like you're cheating, right? These are basically artificial boosts you didn't really earn. So I don't really want to use these. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep them, but I'm probably never gonna use them. Maybe I should just put them should I put them in the box? Yeah, you know what? I'll put them all in the box. There we go. What's up? Derek's here. Good to have you here today, Derek. King B. Cruel says to see what you got from the DLC. Go to your phone and check out your DLC. Oh my god. Yeah, look, the Hero Booster Pack. I feel like it's not fair to have these. It's like an unfair unfair advantage to have all this, right? You, you, uh, did I just... Are you kidding me? I have to manually select? I have to manually select 197. Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously? Real Mastermind, I'll see you later. Yeah, don't be spoiled. Don't spoil the game for yourself. Yeah, apparently I got an insane amount of items. Look at this. All this for getting to the higher end of the game. But again, I don't want to cheat or anything. The real reason I got the better version is because of the Sujimon, which is supposed to be like a Pokemon-style game in here. And also, for the Dodo... Dodokano, Dodokubu, Dodokububudubu Island coming up. It's supposed to be a resort town you build. It gives you all this bonus stuff. And that's something that I actually want to do with my wife. So I wanted to get all the items for that. So that's really why I got the better version. But I didn't want to cheat in the main game. It seems like this is all stuff to kind of cheat. To have these items early. I want to find them legit. So if I need them later, I'll take them out of the box. Oh my god. Here it is. Look. Suja Munch. <clears throat> yeah, see? These level up your Sujamon. That's what it is. It's Sujamon leveling stuff. Power leveling. Okay. So I will. I'll put all this premium stuff in the box. I guess I'll keep the Sujimon stuff. Only because we don't know how Sujimon is going to work. I have to have to say. Dondoko. Dondoko. It's called Dondoko Island. Alright. Oh, look at that. Tuberosa Watermelon. I have no idea what that means. But okay. What are those? I don't know. Alright. Let's, uh... <clears throat> let's head down. Down the scaffolding here. Here we go. Oh, Sujimon. Yaman, yeah, Sujimon. Gotta catch them all, right? Uh, I remember most of the first game. I'm sure it'll come back to me as we play this as well. Because it was a pretty epic plot. Remember, he originally was working for the Yakuza. And he was asked to take a fall. Even though he, he was protecting a young master. <clears throat> who was ill. But always kind of got himself into trouble. But then he was asked to take the fall for another Yakuza, and he went to jail for a long time. Then when he came out, his former mentor shot him. And come to find out the reason he did it was actually just big elaborate plot set up to save his life. And then he ended up investigating and finding the truth that 
the Yakuza were in this big situation where they were going to um, disband. Paper play, which eventually they did by the end of the game, and that's actually how Kazuma Kiryu got involved in the plot line and everything. <clears throat> it was a pretty epic plot. It's hard to really say it in a quick way because it was such a lengthy game. So I would recommend that if you want to know, just go watch a summary, or you could always watch my playthrough of Like a Dragon, uh, the original Like a Dragon. Uh, it was called Yakuza Like a Dragon when it came out several years ago, it was almost four years ago now. Damn how time flies. I feel like it was yesterday when I played that game. A suffocation bomb. So many items I'm getting already. Here's the health and beauty store. Chicken Del Sol. Pretty cool open world to start, right? Beautiful. Revenge Books. What a name for a store. Revenge Books. I like listening to audiobooks on walks. Who left all these nice uh, briefcases around for us to pick up? <clears throat> can use vehicles. I believe later on you can. In the promotional materials for the game, I saw Ichiban riding a Segway. But I'm not sure you do that at the beginning. I think you get that much later on. So Ichiban going for his first walk through the city. Just running around grabbing some items initially here. I see one right here. Ice fragments. See, these are uh, crafting weapons. Or crafting items, excuse me. A paper plate? What am I going to do with a paper plate? Apple defensive item. Yummy. Oh, you okay? I drank way too much last night. I need a hangover medicine pronto and something for diarrhea. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure you should be saying that out in public. Diarrhea, diarrhea. I'm about to squirt. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, then. Bird Up says, Did you know Steven Seagal claims he fought off the Yakuza and defended a market in Japan? I'm sure Steven Seagal says a lot of stuff. You just don't have to necessarily listen to all of it. Yes, remember that? Derek says, I remember at the end of uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I did post-game stuff where we went into a dungeon. I basically grinded for like dozens of hours just chilling with the audience to try to, to beat this super dungeon at the end of the game. Even then, we couldn't do it. I know, it was really tough. It was just too time-consuming, and we wanted to move on to other stuff. I enjoyed those nights, though, those chill nights we had. Well, it just seems like there's a lot of item collecting right now. I don't think we're really running into any any missions or anything, right? In the open world, just grabbing some items off the street. Our first case of Japanese diarrhea in Like a Dragon, Infinite Well. Very nice. Who are you? Apparently, they closed this area because of a big fire. Some gang war. They were called the Gomi Ghoul. You mean the Gomi Ghoul? This was the, the Korean gang that was in the first game, the Gomi Ghoul. So it's closed off in this one. You can't a a uh, access it. It's interesting they let you wander the entire map so far, right? Like, we're actually, we're wandering all around. I mean, some of it's blocked off, but a pretty big opening area that they're allowing you to wander about. They want me to go to Hello Work. Shout out to Baby Man Gaming. Thank you, Baby Man Gaming, for uh, membering up today. Appreciate your support. I know, actually, not not a illegitimate membership. I appreciate that, Baby Man. So here's the disgusting river we just fell in. Ugh, polluted to shit. Looks like piss. Kimby Cruel says, "Heads up, a lot of stuff will be locked until Chapter Four. You won't be able to change classes or anything till then." All right, so we got a lot of work to do before we can get to. The more customizable parts of the game. Oh crap, don't move my car. Is this not. Yes, I was just gonna say, is this the soup? Can we still get soup? We're here for a bowl of pork soup, it's hot, be careful. Nice! They still give out the free soup. So this is gonna be the hobo camp right here. Yeah, look, he says, hey Ichiban, soup's on me. Yeah, you were friends with all these guys in the first game. Anything new in the hobo camp? They all know him. Hey, Ichi. They're all friends with Ichiban. There's a briefcase in the public bathroom stall. A Poseidon power. Very good. 
Yes, that's right. We used to do singing, singing karaoke stuff on those night streams when we were grinding in the first game. I remember. The Green River should not be mistaken for St. Patrick's Day. No, it's just, it's just piss. John, thank you for a super chat. And John says, here's some legit support. Hate people have been abusing the member system on YouTube. I uh, hope you're enjoying the game. It's great so far. Yes. Being that people will likely watch this playthrough for years to come, probably not worth mentioning that now in early 2024, people are finding loopholes on YouTube to abuse it. It is what it is. Uh, let's just ignore the nonsense and have a good time with the game, right? Ah, another item box. Another place you can rest. So this camp is your kind of second home away from home here. Hey, you think that minigame's still around? We used to do the, uh, the can collection? Because that would be nearby. I remember specifically where it is. It's right down here. If it still exists, it should be right over here. No, look. Uh, it should be right here. Looks like Kansan, the guy who runs the can pickup, isn't here right now. So it is referencing it, but you can't do it. What do you say? So the, you're the Lord of Yokohama? Any items here? So everyone knows him, which is nice. Everyone seems to like him because he saved this this town in the first game. <clears throat> but, respectable of him to just be a normal guy, right? He's not full of himself. Another Poseidon power. Is the uh, Kappa statue still over here? Yes! The Kappa statue is still here. Is it me or does the Kappa have a really fine ass? What? She talked about the statue's ass? What the hell is going on? I got a natural herb. What? <laughs> I was not expecting someone to compliment the statue's ass, admittedly. That's a little bit of a twist. Any items up here? No. Nice frame rate. The game runs silky smooth 60 frames on my Xbox Series X. go. An astringent gauze. So we're getting a lot of items. That's good, right? Where's his poofy afro style hair? Apparently he doesn't have it yet. As you can see, he has a more professional hairstyle in this one. Perhaps he'll like, he'll get it back later in the game, but this is the intro. More crafting fragments. Cigarette butt. Oh, yeah. Smoke butt. I love to grab cigarette butts off the street. They're very useful items. Jesus, there's a million items right now in Yokohama. Look at all these items, man. Cool. I remember the music for the first one. Uh, yes, it just so happens my wife has a series of days off to play this game. She's playing it right now as well. And is probably going to be way ahead of me. What the? What happened? Huh? What's going on? What was that noise? The heck was that? Someone get hurt? I should check out where the voice came from. Where did the voice come from? Check to see who's hurt. Oh, I can get this now. Mineral water. 15 MP restore. Wasn't this an item shop in the first game? I think you could go in there and buy, uh, like, weapons. I think so. Who got hurt? Oh, wait. Hold on. I'll help you in a second. I gotta get a... Get a uh, gotta get some items. Who is this? Wait a minute. Look who it is. What happened to you? I remember her. Oh, Ichiban. She runs the You're a sight hotel. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you there. Cleaned up quite nice since I last saw you. <laughs> well, not much has changed on the inside. Anyway, you fall or something? Yeah, sure did. Was just capping off an all-night bender, and oh, my legs gave out. Damn. Do yourself a favor. And don't get old. An all-night bender. I her age. 
What should I say? Tell her to ease up on the drinks. Lend her a shoulder. Lend her a shoulder. You gonna be okay? Kindness I up. I don't mind walking you home. Huh? Oh, I should lower oh, my I'm camera a bit. Fine. It's not that bad. I get little bumps like this every day. I'll just walk it off. You sure? Doesn't seem like a little bump to me. You're imagining things. Besides, don't you finally have a job? If I were you, we I'd go. get there on the double. What, and leave you to limp on home? <laughs> I'm not some invalid. I can take care of myself just fine. Now go, run along to work. After all, steady income isn't something you could take for granted. You know that, right? I know. Just go see a doctor when you can. I will. Thanks for the concern. All right, so Kasuga's personality is represented by the following traits. Passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect, and style. Refining Kasuga's personality earns him many perks, such as increased resistance to enemy skills and status ailments, as well as access to new facilities. A personality chance is an opportunity to improve Kasuga's character. Different stats will raise depending on your selections. There are also many personality challenges which boost your traits upon completion. Check them out via the pause menu. Very good. <clears throat> oh really steak sandwiches in real life I have all my traits maxed out already there you go at the ripe age of 41 I better have my stats maxed because uh, I don't have much time left right there's just not much time left uh, for me so I got to uh, I gotta get stuff done before my balls hang so low they clack between my legs like one of those perpetual motion machines you know what I'm talking about <clears throat> there you go alright let's get to work Yeah, this game borrows elements from many different RPGs. Derek says the, perso the personality trait things reminds him of a Persona 5. Right, I agree. Now, there's actually hit-based inputs during combat. That reminds me of Super Mario RPG or Sea of Stars. Right? A lot of elements from other games that are in input here. <clears throat> Hawkey says, take that beat bowl challenge and increase your stats. That's right. No, we gotta get the big burger, remember? Persona 5 is the big burger challenge. Excuse me. Hello there, Imai-san. Oh, kasuga san upbeat as usual, I see. Thanks to you, Hello Works felt safely... So, ah. Thanks to you, Hello Works felt lively uh, as ever these days. Oh, no, just having a good time. Besides, I've made plenty of mistakes so far, and there's a lot I've still got to learn. That reminds me, I have to thank you for that. I heard you were helping me out behind the scenes. Not at all. It's normal for someone like me to help out a hardworking junior. I look forward to watching you grow. Right, let's keep on learning and strive to do my very best. There you go. <clears throat> Is this my la the last Yakuza game? No. This is this will be the one that 100% hands the reins over to, to Ichiban. That he'll be he'll be the main character after this one. Excuse me. Hey there, Kimura-san. Hey there, Kasuga-kun. Still need a little help working the PC? No, I just wanted to say hey. Thanks for teaching me all that last time. I'm not too bright when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really surprised me. I never thought you'd actually turn it on its side when I told you to turn it off. <clears throat> Yeah, embarrassing, right? <laughs> Remember, he was in jail for like 20 years, so he doesn't know anything about modern technology, apparently. Nonsense. You come a long way since then? You grab recruitment info from the servers, no problem, and your typing's gotten faster, too. I was really impressed that someone could improve so much in so little time. You truly are a hard worker, Kazuka-kun. san right. Thank you so much. That means a lot. I'll keep on learning and strive to do my very best. Of course, I'm counting on you, Kazuka-kun. Of course. <clears throat> All right. Would I ever get old school Street Fighter artwork for my backdrop? I'm pretty happy with what I have. Um, I have so much that every month I can like alternate, and it seems like a lot of variety, right? Um, I mean, I'm not saying I would never add something new. What's the difference between Kun and San? The letters K, U, and S, A. They're All different right, in each then. word, but there's Good an luck with your interview. Word. Next in line, please. Okay. Um, my name's Shinya Sasaki. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome. Look who it is. Take a seat. Did you happen to bring a resume? Look how different he is. Yes, sir, I did. Ha <laughs> ha. He's learning. Well, still no jobs for you. Sorry. Sasaki-san. May I inquire about your criminal record? Mm-hmm. Uh, it 
it was theft. Watches and cosmetics and the like. I would steal anything valuable I could get my hands on so long as it was small enough. He's fessing up. I had a buddy who fenced stuff on the black market, so I usually sell it to him. I see. Does that, uh, make things too difficult? Yes. Sasaki-san, may I ask you something? Uh, sure. I don't see any record of punishment on here. In that case, why put your criminal history at all? Because I did those things, sir. If I'd hid my record to get a job, I'd only make trouble for the company if it ever got out. Ah. I really want to start fresh. You're being honest. I can't go around acting like that never happened. That's a great way to think about it. On that note, don't worry. I have just the job for a man like you. Burger flipper. Really? What kind of job? Well, simply put, shoplifting. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, shoplifting. Cool. Takiyaki tentacle twister. <laughs> So what's he doing? He has a fake arm? You saw an arm came out from in his coat, right? What was that? Excuse me, would you be a deer and point me to the mouthwash? Uh, oh, sure. It should be right this way. Yeah, he has a fake arm. <laughs> what the heck? That's pretty elaborate shoplifting. <clears throat> pretty elaborate shoplifting. The. <laughs> Pardon me, but do you think I could see this up close? Sure. One moment. <sighs> so she's his accomplice. Good eye. This one's a top seller. Isn't it just perfect, honey? It's nice, but it's almost time for the movie. We should take a rain check. Oh no, it's that late. We'll swing by after. No trouble. I hope to see you so, again soon. Who's he doing this for, right? Huh. I wonder. Why are they doing this? Are they testing security systems? Or, like, what's the purpose of this? Huh? Hmm. We're all done on our end. How'd it go? Got everything you asked for. Plus a couple other big ticket items for good measure. Oh, oh look who it is. Glad I went to the pros for this one. <laughs> <laughs> look who it is. Okay, sunglasses, some cosmetics, a wallet, condoms. What else? Long story short, every shop had a ton of blind spots. What with how they were set up. Of course, it's been ages since somebody had to rely on me. A fake, <laughs> fake arm. arm. That's crazy. Get caught pulling something like that, and uh, there's not much you can say. That's why it's common for thieves to uh, work in teams nowadays. Usually, that means two roles: a lookout or a decoy, and then the thief. Aha! Uh -huh. A little division of labor can go a long way. A smaller cut in exchange for safety, huh? Well, it certainly beats jail time. Good work today. I'm heading home. Hey, you as well. Hope I can count on you again. Yeah, thanks for everything. Oh, no. This was my first time helping someone steal something, so I was really nervous. Anyway, I'll see you two later. See ya. So... 
That's why you were saying you needed a hand. Yeah, but is this legal what they're doing? Yeah. What the are they doing this for? It's much easier for two than it is for one. Hmm. She made for a pretty great actress, too. I guess listing the job as extra worked out. Better than we could have hoped. But I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with your performance. You really know your stuff. Although, that last shop you hit up, from the look of it, they put a lot of money into their security system. The shop itself was fairly small, with cameras in every corner. Not only that, there wasn't much in the way of cover, meaning little to no blind spots. And they still pulled it off. So how'd you swipe a high-end wallet out from under them? Well, sometimes those stores have fake cameras, but I could tell these were the real deal. We were also the only customers, so the shopkeep always had an eye on us. <sighs> that said, there was a camera above the register, and it was pointed more downwards than the others, hmm. meaning it wasn't getting a full view of the floor. <clears throat> Maybe they wanted it to focus more on the register, or it was just a mistake during installation. But either way, that right there was our blind spot. No kidding. And once I saw that, all I had to do was play the waiting game. Of course, the shopkeep realized what went down the moment we left, but the cameras got nothing on tape. Aha! Uh -huh. The deed had already been done. You really figured out all that on your first trip and made off with some goods to boot? <laughs> I think I like this guy. I'm just amazed there's a job like this out there, especially considering my past and all. You know, they say 1.2 billion yen worth of merchandise gets stolen every year. Now, for most retailers, it's a life or death issue that could sink your business just like that. And despite that, a lot of <laughs> business owners think all they need is a security guard or a few cameras. Plato, thank you for re-upping your membership, and thank you for gifting a legit membership to the community. Congrats to Ricky G, who just got one. Appreciate that very much, Plato. Uh, yeah, the, the other stuff that you're asking about was not legit from earlier. Um, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And that's just not true. All that really does is add a few blind spots you didn't have before. In fact, it could actually make it easier to steal things. Right. That is where we come in. It's our job to sniff out the gas. CEO of Adachi Investigative Services, so he owns his own company now. Interesting. As you might have figured, if you'd failed today, that would mean their security systems were all squared away. But yeah, this game is very timely. It's already referenced COVID, and now they're referencing retail theft. This is a humongous problem worldwide. In the United States, theft has skyrocketed in the last three years. I, I'm assuming they're probably saying it's the same in Japan. Pretty crazy. It's a very timely game, but their topics are right on the money with current events in the world. I can clearly see. Yep. And from here, I'll summarize their security flaws in a report and submit it to their managers. And that should do it for work they hired us for, but for my money, there's a real business opportunity here. Uh, meaning? Meaning now, I can offer them consulting. Get a contract going, and I can advise them on where to place cameras or even introduce them to reputable security companies. Huh. Makes sense. Actually, once I uh, get this business off the ground, I'm thinking of starting up my own security. Yeah, company. but isn't it pretty crazy that he's stealing to do this? I mean, those are legit stolen goods. He legitimately stole from those stores. You know what I mean? So it's still, it's an illicit business right now. Maybe later on it'll become more legit, but right now it's still crime. Uh, the goal is to have a firm that can handle everything from investigation to consultation to basic security. Wow. Howdy, fellas. Hey, Kasuga. Well, Adachi-san, how's Sasaki working out? Uh, if you ask me, he's a real pro. Already can't afford to lose him. Can I take that to mean he's hired? <laughs> yep. No, he's fired. <laughs> ah, thank you. I know I have a lot to learn, but I promise I'll work real hard. Hey, hey, hey. Look, your days of bowing like that are over, pal. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> we'll make a working class civvy out of you yet. Uh, what's the book? Oh, I found this over at a nearby bookstore. 
Okay. Security industry certification. Right now, all you can do is steal and investigate. But that won't be enough. I was thinking you could study and get yourself certified. That way, you'll be ready to help out when Adachi-san expands his business. Hmm. Sure. That'd be a big help. Give it a read when you get some time. Uh, Katsuga-san, tell me. What's your goal in all this? Huh? I mean, at this point, it's just weird. <laughs> you must want something, right? Who goes that far for a stranger? You don't have some ulterior motive. Motive? Well, I, I guess you could say that. This is actually my way of repaying a debt. <clears throat> a debt? And everything I've done is what my patriarch in the Arakawa family was trying to do. It's the job he left behind when he passed on. He wanted to build a safe place for all the ex-Yakuza. Those with nowhere to turn. Carrying out his will is everything to me. More than that. More. It's my reason to live. Meaningful piano music. Still, I can <laughs> really only handle a tiny piece of it. <sighs> all in all, I'm just doing whatever I can. For real? <laughs> Man, you are one of a kind. Anyhow, I ought to get going. Be right by Adachi-san here, okay? <clears throat> so soon? Come on, you just got here. Ah, I've still got work to wrap up. All right, then. Good luck with everything. Thanks. He's still on the clock? I never knew Hello Work was so busy. <laughs> nah, Hello <laughs> Work's done for the day. This, something a little different. What now? Huh? <laughs> There are a whole bunch of former Yakuza and Ijincho that Kasuga's helped out, same as you. Once he's done at the office, he typically heads out to check in and see how they're doing. Two biggest Yakuza organizations in Japan, the Omi Alliance and Tojo Clan, were completely dissolved. That day, no fewer than 30,000 Yakuza were spit back into the real world. <clears throat> A lot of them likely couldn't find work, and we were left with a whole lot of options. Kasuga is dead set on rehabilitating every last one of them. Every single one? Is that even possible? No. Well, not normally, no. Some of them are dead. But seeing him <laughs> give his all? Well, it makes me feel like even the impossible is possible. It's hard not to help out a guy like that. <clears throat> yeah. Honestly? I think I feel the same. What's up, Jade? Jade says, hey, Phil-san. What's up, Jade-san? How you doing? Errol A says, this game is touching my heart strings. It's a nice start. It's actually a nice positive beginning. Way more positive than the last game. The last game had a dark start. This one's way more, more light-hearted and, and, and not nicely spirited. I guess the question is going to be what happens, right? Hmm, someone text me. It's Nanba. Remember, we're meeting at Survive tonight. Don't be late. Shoot. I was so busy with Sasaki, I almost forgot. Thanks, Namba. Better hustle over to survive. Well, there you go. We're going to meet up with Nanba, another major character from the first game. Let's go uh, find him. Hold on. What do you mean? There's a freaking... You're kidding. They won't let me grab this uh, briefcase. Maybe they will. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. Cold medicine. I had to mash the button. Okay. <clears throat> we gotta go find Nanba. Uh. uh oh. What's going on here? <clears throat> oh, please stop. Huh? What'd you say? You better speak up if you want to be heard, eh? Huh? What are you looking at? <laughs> hey, see? No one gives a crap about you. Hey. Hey, I wouldn't go that far. What? Huh? The hell are you? Get away from him. Here we go. <clears throat> Why the fuck should we listen to you? Because if you don't, I'm going to send your asses to the moon. <laughs> Whoa, so scary. Sounds like someone needs their face punched in. With pleasure. Let's do it. Street thugs beat down. So here we go. Use left stick to move within the ring beyond beneath your feet. Your positioning 
will make a big difference, especially when using basic attack. Anything useful around here? So now we have the bicycle. A triangular icon appears when you're near a usable object. So now I can pick this up. Oh, I just attack now. All right, let's see. Yeah, look. Beat him with the bike. That's cool. Oh, I missed the block. Oh, I'm missing it. I got one there. Okay. Select the attack and approach the enemy with the target indicator to change the proximity bonus. So if I'm close to this guy and I attack, proximity bonus. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Ass whooped. Tota defeated. <clears throat> Poetry in motion. Attacks can sometimes launch an enemy backward. They'll take more damage when colliding with a wall or their friends. Oh, cool. They're saying line them up. Darn, they won't, they won't line up. They won't line up and I can, oh wait, here we go, okay. Hold on. How do I select, oh there we go, it's the D-pad to select. Oh, 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 and it comboed. But it didn't kill the other guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Interesting. Okay. So it's a hybrid, it's basically a hybrid of the old Yakuza gameplay with turn-based RPG stuff and you hit them so hard someone dropped a lettuce sandwich. Very nice. Arrgh! Shit, man! We're sorry, forgive us! <clears throat> I'm not the one you should apologize to. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, what do you think? Hey, just let them go. Better to keep the cops out of it. Well, I guess you guys were lucky. Just know there won't be a second time. Uh, yes, sir. Hey. You all right? You hurt? No, I'm fine. Anyway, thanks. It's been a while since someone showed me any kindness. <clears throat> hey, no sweat. They just pissed me off is all. Haven't seen you around before. You just get in? Yeah, the other day. All right. Well, you know where Surakame Bridge is? You should try over there. Uh, way better than being alone. Arigato, no? I never would have known. I'll make my way over. Thanks so much, pal. <laughs> oh, crap, I'm late. Better hurry to survive. Uh, of course he's late. <clears throat> he got distracted by combat. Yes, and now they're saying, here's the people you could fight. Uh, weak is blue. Devil horns is like regular. Strong would be pink. And then dangerous is like a big elaborate thing. So you know who to fight and who to avoid. Okay. There now. Ah. So that one across the street there is like normal, normal difficulty. Do I'm gonna go to survive. That's this way. <clears throat> I love all the natural herbs. I suck them all up. Ichiban is a tough, a tough, uh, a tough guy, a hard ass. That's right. Did I like playing with Haruka in five? Uh, it was definitely different. It was good variety, but it was kind of weird doing dance and music battles in the middle of the streets. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Back. Get hit by a car. Because you can't get hit by cars in this. Is there a way to get a preemptive attack at all? I guess not. <laughs> Threatening men. What do they have? Cool. They have umbrellas. Uh, I wanted to do combo. No block. He hit the wall there. <clears throat> Just like the streets of Renton, of course. This is what my actual town looks like. Where I live. If I walk down the street, I get attacked by people with umbrellas. <clears throat> cool. Now, how do you save? Here we go. Let's do our first manual save. And it's time to split the part. So if you're watching this playthrough so far, I certainly hope <clears throat> that you guys are enjoying. I'm having a great time. Good intro. I like that we jump right into an interesting story, following up on the characters we know from the first game. Combat looks like it's going to be a little bit more fresh now with the movements around and everything and the time button pushes, but good stuff. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this part, please remember, 
many ways to support this channel and playthrough. You could like the video, you could leave some comments to let me know what you think. Consider a super thanks on the video, maybe a tip if you look at the description. All kinds of stuff you can do. Thanks everyone, I'll see you all in part two.